There are many places on the Mac where you can use your own custom keyboard shortcuts. They are here to speed up your work. In this video, I will start from the very basics of creating your custom shortcuts and then we will get to more interesting options and places where you can use them. If you are already familiar with the basics, you can use the timestamps under the video to skip ahead. But I think there are many small tips hidden all over the video, so I recommend you to watch it all. Anyway, let's start now. What is actually a custom keyboard shortcut? Well, that's uh, your own shortcut you can use for any of these menu items on top. I can for example set a shortcut to a smart folder command, which doesn't have it by default. So go to system settings, scroll all the way down to keyboard and here click on keyboard shortcuts. In this menu select app shortcuts on the left and now to add a new one, just click the plus button. On top you have to select the application first, in our case it's finder. Now type the menu title. It has to be the exact name, with big letters, numbers or dots, whatever. We can check it once more. It's called new smart folder, with all title case letters. Now choose your keyboard shortcut. It always has to be a combination of a modifier keys and letters. I will do shift, control, command, s. Click done and the shortcut will be added to the system. You can already see it here in the menu. Before we created shortcut in Finder, you can do it in any other app. But it doesn't even need to be an app, you can also create shortcut for things in the Apple menu. That's the first menu on top. There are already a few of them, but what I use the most from here is the sleep command. Let's assign a shortcut to that as well. So back to system settings, click the plus button to add a shortcut, then leave it here to all applications. Write down the menu title of sleep and let's do the keyboard shortcut. I will choose Control, Command and Down Arrow. Now I can put my Mac to sleep with one click. I hope you are not falling asleep on this video, because I have many more interesting tips to show you. One of them is connected to Safari. Because interesting fact is that you can create a shortcut to any menu item. But it doesn't need to be menu item which is by default there. It can even be dynamic items. Let me show you for example here in Safari. And the bookmarks, I can see all my bookmarks there. There are items I have added myself, so obviously these are not standard menu items. But I can still assign a keyboard shortcut to it. Let's start from the beginning and add a new bookmark. Name it as you wish. And it will become a menu bar command. Now I can head back to system settings, click the plus button and add this for Safari only. Next type the exact name you have set there before for the bookmark. And I can use a keyboard shortcut. For this purpose I think it's good to use numbers on your keyboard. So as a combination I would use something like option, command and number one. So now anytime I'm in Safari I can press the combination and I will automatically jump to that page. One more different kind of shortcut can be set in pages. It's not even a menu bar command, but I thought it's interesting option to mention because I'm using it all the time. It's connected to the paragraph styles. Great thing is that you can assign F keys to these paragraph styles and then quickly apply it to a selected part of the text. I can click this arrow next to title, go to shortcut and select one from here. Now I can select text, press F1 and it will instantly become a title. When I have started with these F and keys, I want to show you how to use them outside of pages. So far the keyboard shortcut was always a combination of the modifier key and a letter or a number or something like that. But it doesn't need to be like that. You can use these F and keys. To do this, first you need to set things right in system settings. So again, go to the same place in system settings, go down here to keyboard and then click on keyboard shortcuts. Now from the left select function keys. You have to activate this switch. 
This will allow those keys to be used as traditional F1, F2, F3 keys rather than being used to control some special features like the screen brightness, volume playback control and things like that. But once you switch this, you will not lose the access to these special features. You will just need to do the opposite. You will need to hold down the FN or the globe key to use them. It will only flip it. Normally you had to hold the FN key in order to use F keys and with this switch it's the opposite. Now I could actually use these FN keys to bookmarks in Safari as I showed you before. Or I can assign it in pages to some specific objects. Here in insert menu for example, I could have done with one click to add a text box, add a shape or line, something like that. It's quite useful to use these F keys. One more interesting thing is that you can use this also to open any app on the Mac. You can do it with one click. I made a whole video about it, so I'll not be explaining it here. But in fact, you can assign a shortcut to a shortcut. Look how it's done here. I can with this open Microsoft Word with just one click. Next, I'll open Excel with another click and so on. It's very handy to use this feature and function keys together. I will link you the video in the description below. I think that using custom keyboard shortcut is a really interesting thing to do. Many people know how to create a shortcut, but they don't know these extra tips how to use it. If you want to stay ahead above all other people, then watch my next video on Monday. I'll be happy if you join there. Thanks for watching.